Welcome back to Pines to Palms, guys. Today I'm going to be doing some wild boar hunting with my Henry 22 Magnum. This 22 Magnum is a Henry small game carbine. It's got this beautiful 16 and a half inch octagonal barrel on it, a set of Skinner sights, which I really like. It makes it super easy to get some quick, accurate shots with this gun. It's also got an awesome big loop lever, beautiful walnut. I really like this gun. I wanted to shoot a hog with the 22 Magnum for quite a while now, but I haven't had any around. I think I cleared them out pretty good at this property. But over the past two weeks, it's been raining nonstop, and I hunt up on a tall oak hammock, so I think it's pushing some boars up to where I hunt. But just to make sure they stick around for a little bit, I made a big tub of slop. So I'm gonna go pour that out, but before I do that, I'm gonna take a couple practice shots with my 22 Magnum, just to make sure I can hit what I'm aiming at. I'm gonna be using some of these Federal 50 grain hollow points, they're a little bit heavier than a normal 22 Magnum round, but they shoot really well out of my gun and they should give us plenty of penetration on a big hog. I've got a target about 23 yards away. I'm just gonna take a couple of quick practice shots. All right, let's go see where we hit. This group looks great. All the rounds fit in about the size of my fingernail. I'm just gonna adjust my sight up half a turn and we should be good to go. So my tree stand is right here and I have a corn feeder over here about 40 yards away, which is a little further than I'd like to try shooting. I'd like to make my shot as easy as possible. So I think I'm gonna dig a hole right around here around 15 yards and pour my slop into it. If you don't know what slop is, I basically mix a bunch of corn, fruit punch, jello mix, and some yeast and let it ferment for a few days. It creates this big sugary fermented mix and the hogs just love it. Okay guys, it's two days later. I'm loading up the 22 mag. I'm about to walk out to the tree stand. I also moved the feeder in 10 yards closer, so hopefully we can get a shot tonight on a big hog. Well, that was wild. I was sitting here watching these turkeys, trying to hold still and get some good footage. And a coyote came shooting in from over there. I think he wanted to get a turkey. But by the time I saw him, he was downwind of me, so I spun around to try and shoot him. But I think he already smelled me, so he kind of ran off. Man, I would have liked to have gotten a coyote.
that hog came in right at last light, and I shot him in the neck. And he ran 40 or 50 yards and piled up in some brush over here. So it's a half hour later. I'm going to see if there's any blood and then head over there and see if we can find him. I think I see him, guys. Oh, he smells bad. Let me poke him here. Woo, he's, he's dead, guys. We got him. Oh, my word. Well, guys, here's our big boar that we got with the 22 Magnum. It came in right at dark. It was getting hard to see the iron sights. I shot it right in the neck, and it ran probably about 40 to 50 yards away and piled up in this brush right here. Feels good to help out the environment, get some of these invasive hogs out of here. They just root up and destroy everything. They push out all the deer. So it feels good to get him out of here. I got at least another big one running around, so hopefully I'll get him too, but he's a little bit smarter. Anyways, guys, I hope God blesses you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.